Hi, my name is Chidima Linda Iguta and I'm a Nigerian. Nigeria is the largest economy in Africa with over 219 million people living in it. Now this data is based on worldometer elaboration of the latest United Nations data. Nigerians are known to be intelligent and hardworking people with the can-do, never-say-never attitude. We are friendly, accommodating and resilient people. The Nigerian values include a belief in the worth and dignity of every human being, personal freedom, equity and justice for all, discipline, integrity, dignity of labor, social justice, religious tolerance, patriotism, self-reliance, a sense of responsibility for and brotherhood with one's fellow. Unfortunately, the bane of Nigeria's challenges is bad leadership, characterized by systemic corruption across all levels of the Nigerian government. There are high levels of poverty, insecurity, unemployment, and all forms of social vices plaguing us as a nation. As the giant of Africa, Nigeria ought to be taking care of the African continent and the black race. But we are yet to do a great job taking care of ourselves. Since 1999 to date, there has been a decline in the quality of leaders, lack of appropriate selection and criteria in Nigeria's leadership and electoral process. Our country's challenges cannot be addressed by bad leaders who have come into power through the faulty recruitment process. Leadership requires character and the mandate is simple. Give us a system that works. Give us strong and accountable governance. Give us an enabling environment to live and thrive. Let the right people who genuinely love Nigeria get into governance without God for that reason. Let those who are ready to serve lead us and build the Nigeria of our dreams. Our security system is in shambles. The wills of the common man who has lost a father, a mother, a sibling, an aunt and uncle to a trigger happy policeman is on the rise. We deploy all forms of survival hacks just to leave the policeman who should be defending and protecting us looks to the other way right in the midst of a crime in fact they perpetrate these crimes themselves children are constantly dying in schools and institutions are not held accountable kidnappers are on the loose and no one is doing anything about it currently Nigeria is in a state of lawlessness and no one is doing anything about it. These issues affect us as individuals. They affect us as students, as young professionals, as career men and women, as market men and women, as business people, and most importantly, they affect us as Nigerians. We are tired and want better representation in all levels of government. As a real estate consultant, a lot of times the question I get from my clients is, how is Nigeria? The average Nigerian living abroad wants to know the state of things back home. They make their money over there and they invest here because this is home. Nigeria is home to them. They buy properties here because Nigeria is home, because Nigeria is developing and Nigeria has a lot of untapped potentials. And they definitely get the best return on their investment right here in Nigeria. But they also want to be able to come home and feel secured at home. Even though we are politically divided, and economically disunited. This is not a tribal war, neither is it a religious war. This is simply a cry from a tired generation. Whoever becomes the president of this great nation, please give us a sane, healthy, secure, lawful, prosperous, investment-friendly, and progressive Nigeria. May God bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Amen.